discussing Islamic teachings about women or Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad said the best of Yes, uh, uh, please, uh, the, the video, uh, it's stitched from, is lovely. Uh, she said something about 14 uh, uh, reasons uh, about women and Islam. I would like to add my favorite, right? So, I, I, I cannot say it in, in English correctly, but here it is. Um, uh, in the Quran, I'm translating it into English. In the Quran, it says, we made an example of who is unbeliever, kafir, huh? imra'a, a woman. And then it describes who is unbeliever, the wife of Nuh, the wife of Lut. Lut? All right. So two prophets, their wives are non-believers. And then the next verse, it said, and we made an example of the believer, a woman, Imra'a. He said, and then it, it goes, Imra'at Pharaoh, the, uh, the wife of Pharaoh. And she said, God, um, build me a, a house at your heaven and um, protect me and take me away from the uh, unjust people and the uh, behavior and doing of Pharaoh. The next verse is, and Maryam, that's the example of the believer. Maryam is the, uh, the daughter, uh, the mother of Jesus, Sidiaisa, okay? All right, so my favorite ever, 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 ever example in the Quran is when, when it comes to an example of of all of humanity, because it said, Alladina kafaru, the people who disbelieve. So the whole of humanity, any, <laughs> any people who don't believe, the example is a woman. And all of humanity, the example of all of humanity, of the people who believe, the example is a woman. So a woman is an example. It's the source. It's, it's the link in all humanity. So we're talking about the energy, the feminine energy that uh, 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 either a believer or a non-believer, okay? Now, when it comes to justice, when it comes to al-qisas, uh, it's like, you know, you're, you, you take, you take, um, uh, it's al-hur bil-hur, wal-abdu bil-abd, wal-unsa bil-unsa. So, uh, taking um, justice that, um, uh, 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 it says it says al untha, which is the feminine. It didn't say a man. It didn't say a woman. It says al untha bil untha. Untha in Arabic is feminine, feminine, <laughs> feminine. <laughs> so that's my addition, my favorite addition. Uh, but please go and see her video, uh, 14 Reasons, uh, Women and, uh, and Islam. And this is my favorite. Thank you. Have a good day. 14 Islamic teachings about women or Prophet Muhammad said the best of you are those who are best to your women. 
stressing the importance of how you treat the women that are in your life. Taking care of two or three daughters will grant you Jannah, subhanAllah. As Muslim as we have Lady Fatima as our role model, the Prophet's very daughter, subhanAllah, that makes us so lucky to have this woman to look up to. As a woman, if you choose to spend your money on your husband or your family or your home, it's categorised as an act of charity. In Islam, men and women are very different but entirely equal. Allah listens to the complaints of a woman about her husband and a very specific verse was brought down in the Quran for this situation. The surah even translates to the pleading woman. When Fatima entered the Prophet's home, he would stand up, take her hand, kiss her and seat her where he was sitting. Jannah lies under the feet of your mama, so if you're a mother, you have Jannah at your literal feet and in Islam we don't have no such thing as mama's boys. Islam gave women rights before anywhere else in the world did. She could own her own bank account, have her own money, own her own house. At the same time, men in the West were holding literal meetings to suggest and speak if women even had souls. There are two chapters in the Quran about women. One is called Maryam and one is called The Woman. In the Quran, Allah says, I never fail to reward a worker among you, be it man or woman. Women cannot be forced to marry anybody in Islam. So if you, you see child marriages or forced marriages, this has nothing to do with Islam or what Islam teaches. The first woman to accept Islam was Lady Khadija and she is a powerhouse of the characteristics that a woman should adhere to. Women are lights of their home, not ornaments of a public space. Women are blessings in Islam. We are half of society and most of us raise the other half. We as mamas have the power to make or break society. Allah made us soft and emotional and complex for a reason. We hold so much responsibility but with some of the biggest blessings, subhanAllah. Allah truly loves women.